হাই আই এম বিশ্বজিৎ কোলে লেকচারার সায়েন্স অ্যান্ড সোশ্যাল সায়েন্স ডিপার্টমেন্ট মল্লভূম ইনস্টিটিউট অফ পলিটেকনিক বিষ্ণুপুর বাঁকুড়া টুডে আই এম ডিসকাসিং অন হলোগ্রাফি অ্যান্ড ইটস অ্যাপ্লিকেশান হোয়াট ইজ হলোগ্রাম দ্য টার্ম হলোগ্রাম ইজ টেকেন ফ্রম দ্য গ্রিক ওয়ার্ডস হলোস দ্যাট মিন্স দ্য হোল অ্যান্ড গ্রামা means message means recording that is whole of the information which contains both amplitude and phase of an object is recorded on a photographic plate that is called a hologram the theory of holography was developed by Dennis Gabor in 1947 it is a 3-dimensional image reproduced from a pattern of interference produced by a split coherent beam of radiation such as laser holography what is holography it is a scientific technique in which a three dimensional image of an object is recorded in a photographic film using coherent beams such as laser light it is it simply means that The recorded holographic image of an object contains whole optical information about the object that is amplitude and phase information of the light scattered from the object. Ideally, the hologram is a three-dimensional image reproduced from interference pattern recorded by coherent light beams and holography is a process of reconstructing and writing a hologram. What are the characteristics of a hologram? A hologram produces three-dimensional pictures of an object by interference method using coherent beams. It contains whole optical information about the object, amplitude and phase information. No optical lenses are used in holography. That's why it is called lentless photography. Only one hologram contains a large number of images of different objects. Now what are the difference between holography and ordinary photography? Holography is used to generate three dimensional images, whereas photography is used to generate two dimensional images. Phenomenon used in holography is interference and diffraction of light. Whereas, in photo, ordinary photography uses a reflection of light by the object to the photographic film. No lenses are required to generate a hologram, whereas lenses are used to focus on object and generate the photograph. In holography, source of light should be monochromatic and coherent. In ordinary photography, no special type of light source is needed. So these are the difference between holography and ordinary photography. Now what are the components for creating a hologram? Experimental setup for creating holograms, we need a laser beam, a beam splitter, photographic plate or hologram and a mirror. Now, recording of a hologram. It is a method of producing a hologram, coherent light from a laser light split by a mirror. One of those beams is the reference beam and is shown directly onto the flip, whereas the second beam is reflected off of the object called object beam that you want to make a hologram. When these two laser beams intersect, they create what we call an interference pattern. This, this pattern that the two sets of waves make when they overlap, that pattern is what's recorded onto the flame. Then when the flame is developed, you can see the whole image as 3D view. Reconstructing a hologram or unfreezing a hologram. A laser beam identical to the reference beam is used 
to reconstruction of the object. This red readout beam illuminates the hologram at the same angle as the reference beam. The hologram acts as a diffracting grating and secondary waves from hologram interfere constructively in certain direction and destructively in other directions. They form a real image in front of hologram and a virtual image behind the hologram at the original site of the object. An observer see light waves diverging from the virtual images. Types of hologram. Basically holograms are two types. One is called transmission hologram and another is called a reflection hologram. Transmission hologram, a transmission hologram is one where the object and reference beams are incident on the recording medium from the same side. Whereas in a reflection hologram, the object and reference beams are incident on the plate from the opposite side of the plate. Application of hologram. First application is security. Hologram can be used in security application. Second one is data storage. One of the most application of holography is information storage. A single image can contain huge information which can be accessed by reflecting light from different angles unlike traditional optical storage method like CD-ROM. Holographic sensor a holographic sensor is a device that comprises a hologram embedded in a smart material that detects certain molecules or metabolic lights. 3D multimedia Holographic televisions are invented to view 3D motion picture and holographic cinematography are used to create 3D animated movies. Last one is endoscopic hologram which are made inside live organs through optical fibers to view the interior organs in our body. Thanks for the watching this video.